What's up YouTube, Jetforth here, and today uh, let's take a look at my 3 million DPS rifle build. Let's head off to my magical shooting range where apparently I can manipulate the numbers to have them be whatever I want them to be. But there you have it, 3,073,643.3 DPS calculated by the game. But wait, there's more. After I took my picture for my clickbait thumbnail, I continued on with some extra shots. I actually slowed these two shots down, which dropped the DPS, and continually dropped the DPS because it was factoring in those two very slow shots, ultimately dropping my DPS down until I flubbed it. And finally, here's me hitting 3,010,160.5 again hitting 3 million. I could do this all day, but I absolutely hate people who babble forever in the beginning of the videos, and the consensus is, so does everybody else. So let's just get into the build, shall we? Obviously, we went with Sharpshooter for the 30% increase to weapon stability, the 30% increase to reload speed for smaller magazine sizes, 25% increase to headshot damage allows for precision kills, and plus 15% increased rifle damage. And now on to weapons. Your weapon of choice is the Police MK-17. The tail end of choice for this is Ranger. Every 5 meters you are from the target grants plus 2% weapon damage. It requires four or less utility. This particular weapon dropped with distance and transmission, which are pretty honestly useless perks in my opinion. You don't really need the optimal range on it because with Ranger, you are negating the damage drop off, which is really good. So I would have much rather have had Allegro optimized stability and so on. Transmission, meh, we well, could do without that. It doesn't matter. Maybe stop, drop, and roll you know, something along that lines. For the sights, I'm using the Sharpshooter Digital Scope, plus 45% headshot damage, negative 5% to critical hit damage. Now, if you do have issues being scoped in all the time or have problems quick scoping, you can swap it out for the C79 scope, which is plus 5 damage to elites. But at a pretty big loss, you will be losing near 500,000 DPS if you swap out for this. But hey, trust me when I say, I'm not judging. For the barrel, I am using a 7.62 a large suppressor with plus 10% accuracy. Next up, for the undermount, we are using the laser pointer with plus 5% critical hit chance. And finally, we are using a precision 7.62 mag with plus 7% headshot damage. And for those who are curious, and for the people who asked, my weapon skin that I am using is called Hornet. And now to skip ahead a little bit, let's go to the sidearm because you are going to need something good to deal with these jack wagons. If you are going to stick with the digital scope. RN Jesus was very, very kind to me and dropped me a bunch of D50s within one day, so I rolled stop, drop, and roll on one, and that is what I'm using to deal with the old baton ladies when they roll up on me real hard. Next up, for our second weapon slot, we will be using the Nemesis for its holster trait, plus 25% headshot damage when scoped with your current weapon. And now, let's get into the gear. For my amazing subscribers and people who have seen my AR build, you will see a lot of similarities in here. So uh, let's just get straight to the backpack, and I am very aware that Safeguard is getting nerfed. But due to RNG Jesus, I am still using it. I would very much like to have hard hitting and hardened, hard hitting and anything else other than Safeguard. But for now, Safeguard is working. I have not gotten a better roll on it. I do realize that it is getting nerfed. I'm very 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 let's be very i know it's getting nerfed okay the dps side of this video is safe and trying my best not to clickbait but hey it's youtube but other than that shenanigans you do still want hard hitting even for pvp because you still do have to deal with elites but for now i do still need it because of the attributes plus 14,884 bonus armor and 10 percent cooldown reduction for utility I would rather have skill power there even at that even though this is what I need but it is what it is RN Jesus is a thing next up are the gloves which are Eraldi holdings which pair with the backpack so that way we get 10% accuracy plus 10% headshot damage the talent is compensated weapon damage is increased by 15% when your critical hit chance is below 20% requires three or less for offensive compensated is 
is 100% nerf safe for now. And for our PvP counterparts, this is a ridiculous talent to have procced. And on the knee pads, we have my ridiculously well-rolled Gilligard knee pads. What these are doing is easily getting me up to 7 defense for unstoppable. These are very, very well-rolled knee pads. For our PvP friends, you will want to swap these knee pads out for true patriot for the plus 10 percent damage to armor as opposed to having hard hitting plus 15 percent damage to elites now this will be a numbers game for you you must pray to rn jesus for the defensive rolls on to the holster i went with a dh for the plus five percent accuracy this particular holster rolled with the attribute of skill power which i did increase also the talent is hard hitting and a mod slot for utility. I do not want hard hitting on here. I actually want precise to roll for the talent on here. Plus 15% to headshot damage. But again, RNG has not been very kind to me. With precise, this is very, very, very good for PvP and PvE. So keep that in mind. And on to the body armor. We are using an Overlord Armaments chest piece with unstoppable force. Unstoppable force is not being nerfed there are a minority of people saying that unstoppable force is going from 7 defense to 11 this is untrue this is nerf safe the only two chess piece perks that are going from 7 to 11 is berserk and unbreakable and actually berserk is going from nothing to 11 unstoppable force is nerf safe and finally we have the legendary mess that rolled at plus 40 percent damage to a with hard hitting actually I rolled hard hitting on it but the plus 40% to elites is ridiculous but from my AR build video I have learned that masks can roll up to 50% damage to elites so once again bow down and pray to RN Jesus for that cuz I am too but for our PvP friends you are going to want to replace this mask with a true Patriot mask pairing it with the knee pads which I stated previously so that way you get your plus 10% damage to armor so that way you can take out other agents a lot more quickly than you can elites and that is it my fellow agents I started editing this video at 8 o'clock this morning and it is now 550 I am not adding gameplay I no longer care which I totally apparently lied about caring because I forgot about the stats for weapon damage we have 4,500,882 critical hit chance we have 5% which you need to stay under 20% for compensated on the gloves headshot damage 151% range 58 okay 1.7 reload time which is pretty fast generally it's around 2% 30% accuracy 30% stability lots and lots of 0% weapon handling 0% so yeah 35% rifle damage bonus and a 100% damage to elites. Now, for those of you who have actually made it this far into the video, these numbers are actually wrong. In the open world, you are probably nearing 4 to 4.5 million DPS because in the shooting range, none of the perks are procced. This is a pretty insane build and this is actually more powerful than the AR build that I made. Keep that in mind. With all of this shenanigans, that brings you up to 3 million DPS. So, for your numbers, we are running 374. You absolutely have to keep your offense at 3 or under. You have to keep your utility at 4 or under. For your defense at 7 at the moment, the sky is the limit. That does not matter. But you have to stay at 3 for compensated. You have to stay at 4 for ranger. So just keep that in mind. And that is it. Leave me a comment in the comment section down below what you think about all this. If you're going to make this build, if you believe it, believe it or not, YouTube, clickbait, kick it, Hit the old like button for me if you could, because a lot of work went into this video. A subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and all that other junk. And I will catch you all on the flip side. Peace.